this is the trailhead. It's uh, nice to have rack set up so you can park your bike. Uh, Adventure 365 even provided this work stand over here. It's complete with a tire pump. And then here is the summer trail map. Each of the trails has a name and a trail rating and all the signs uh, are also in the trails. On the back of the sign, there's, as you call them, prescribed loops. The green is mainly green trails. It stays at the bottom. You don't have to climb too much. And the blue is a little harder. You hit a lot of the blue trails and some of the greens. And then the red is kind of your bread and butter, not in trails. Just follow the red arrows and you're going to have a blast. And you follow these and as long as you catch them all, you won't get lost. And if you end up lost somewhere, just keep riding. You'll eventually find some more of these arrows and then follow them from there and you should be fine. So this is the Walden Mountain Bike Club. Let's get riding. I'll start off by going through some of the green trails. So these trails are specifically meant for mountain biking and almost every trail has a sign at the start with a difficulty rating. Uh, difficulty ratings are standard blue, green, uh, double black and black. Not in that order obviously, it's that weird. The way the trail system works here, the parking lot's kind of at the bottom of the hill. As the trails go up the hill, they get harder for difficulty. There are a few trails at the top that are still green and blue, uh, but getting there, I believe, means you have to climb double or single black diamond trails. The trails here are all single track, uh, and sometimes you end up on the double track, which is just the ski trails in the winter. Uh, we do end up crossing them a lot, just like here. Almost anyone can find something fun to ride here with very basic skills all the way up to some very advanced features which we will see. These are easily the best maintained trails in Sudbury. With crews coming out let's say every second week during the summer and at the start of the year uh, there's quite a few trail parties. Now we're into Whitney's Whip. This trail's a little bit less flat. It's probably my favorite green trail here. Coming up is the most nerve-wracking feature of the trail. The twin trees of doom! I don't know how it shows up on camera, but you only have a few inches on either side of your handlebar there. Now we get on to a newer blue trail. It's a few years old. Fish and chips. This one's been cleaned up pretty well this year. And last year there was a double black feature put in as a little aside. We're gonna go ride that. It's got a little skinny bridge onto a kind of a crazy rock roll. Here it comes. There's a sign marking which way you're supposed to go. You wanna do the hard thing. Oh, pedal strike. So 
blue trail is a little bit tighter than the greens. And this one's a particularly rough one. As far as blues go. But it's not overly difficult. There's nothing too technical about it. They just didn't clear out all the rocks. quickly showcase some more of the blue trails yeah kind of kind of steep features not overly scary but definitely a challenge for somebody that's just starting up mountain biking uh, the trails are mainly smooth this is only half of Rusty's Ridge uh, behind me there's more of a a rocky section that I'd almost call Black Diamond, especially if you're climbing it. It's not super hard, uh, but it's a fairly rough rock slab. I know people always ask how a hardtail would do here. Uh, you can ride all the trails with one. Uh, the black diamonds and double blacks are going to be very rough, obviously. But uh, if you're not super confident, uh, the blue trails and especially the green trails would be just fine on a hardtail. little advanced feature. Just hop over a log. And this is crossover, which is again a blue. There's folders in the trail here and there, but you can avoid them. So here we're about to climb doorstep into Long Road. Uh, it's a pretty arduous climb. I'm just gonna take it easy. These trails are the most direct, uh, direct way up to the top, other than taking a ski trail, but that's not as fun. This is the middle of the long road. On the left, there's like the most technical climb. Then we go into Honey Badger, a double black. Now the trail ratings here are based on the bus system. And the criteria isn't like you would see at a downhill park or anything. Like a double black at the downhill park would be pretty scary. A double black here is more like it's got some technical features that are kind of difficult to climb or descend. And the trail's narrower, the harder the, di the difficulty is. So, this is a bit of a tough climb. There's a lot of rocks here. Ugh. To get hung up on. I think this is the hardest part of the climb. 
there's little rocks everywhere. You get bounced around quite a bit. And then here it gets really steep. Screw that up. It's like a weird off camera rock. Alright, here we go. A bit of a traverse, and then we go down. That is exactly the wrong line. It's a bit headly here, but it's still slightly downhill. Here, you go straight, you end up having to climb a really hard technical climb just to get back up to here. We're gonna exit along the road, cut across the ski trail. Head into deadfall. Which ends on a bridge. Over a little ditch. And now we're back at the bottom. And we gotta earn another descent by climbing all the way back up. through that 
first section. Did this shortcut out to me before? Probably useful. Coming up after a couple turns. Just around this rock. Stay on the right, hop off of here. I think I just hit a rock with my foot. <sighs> Trail snacks. Near the top at night and there's blueberry plants everywhere. So if you're really feeling like a trail snack, you just stop, plop yourself down on the side of the trail and pick away at some blueberries.